victims of a horrific surge in violent crime which has spiked in Britain over recent months. Lives are being lost at such a rate, the government has already set up a violent crime task force. But now former police chiefs are saying cuts in numbers are contributing to a feeling of lawlessness on our streets. This community police station was closed six years ago. It's in Newham, one of the most crime-ridden boroughs in London. This retired police officer stays in touch with many of his former colleagues. Police numbers is a huge factor. There is no doubt about it. We've seen over the years an increase in crime, an increase in violent crime, and police numbers, or the lack of them, has contributed to this problem we're now seeing on the streets of London and across the country. The total number of police and support staff in England and Wales has fallen by 37,000 over eight years. And in response to last year's British Crime Survey, 72% of people said they felt crime had risen. Certainly the number of crimes reported since 2010 has gone up by 19%. I don't feel safe to be honest, but I believe there should be more police officers around the, around the area, so it could be more safe. Why is it you don't feel safe? A lot of knife crimes, a lot of gang activity around the area, you know. Well, it's like everything else, isn't it? Everything's been cut. Police, hospital, everything. I could commit a crime now at my age and probably be confident that I'll get away with it. Why do you say that? Because there's no police. Joshua Ribeiro was murdered five years ago in Birmingham. He was 18 years old. His mum wants a bigger conversation about cultural attitudes to crime as well as more police. A lot of young people don't think there are consequences to their actions and I think if there are more police on the streets they would start to realise they can't just go around doing what they want to do. They will be caught, they will be dealt with and there is a consequence to that choice. Hands out! Hands out! The government says there are plans to increase police numbers by 3,500 around the country and an extra billion pounds has been added to police budgets, the biggest increase in nine years.